Basic microcontroller debugging using Tina. In this tutorial video, we will analyze and debug a simple program written in assembly language, part 1, and in C language, part 2, for the PIC16F73 microcontroller. Note that this process also works for mixed mode circuits with both analog and digital components. This is the advantage of running the debugger inside Tina, compared to an external debugger for the PIC only. Open Tina. Part 1. Click Analysis, select Enable MCU Code Debugger to enable debugger. Click the Dig button to start a debug session. First, the program will be compiled, and then it will be loaded. A blue bar indicating the current location of the program counter will be set on the first line. This is the reset state. OK, we're now paused and ready to begin the debug session. In the toolbar of Tina MCU Debugger, there are debug icons. Run, Step Forward, Stop, Toggle Breakpoint. Pressing the Step Forward button will advance the program counter instruction to instruction. Here, the program sets the port CIO port to output by clearing the Tri-State C register, then enters an endless loop. Stepping forward in the execution, we can observe the values of the PIC registers and memory content. By right-clicking anywhere in the registers windows, we can add a new watch, any special function registers. Okay, as we will not add any extra items, click Cancel. Within the loop, the program reads the current value of the port C, increments its value, and writes it back to the port, and performs an internal short delay loop. OK, now we allow the debugger to run the program without single stepping. Press the Run icon from the toolbar. The instructions are now being executed at full speed, as seen from the value of the simulation time. To pause the instruction execution, we now press the Stop button on the toolbar. The usual method to control the flow of the instruction execution is placing an intentional pausing in the program, called Breakpoint. Let's place the breakpoint where the MCU updates the output port. Click the workspace next to the port. Then click the toggle breakpoint icon. Now press the run button. When the breakpoint is hit, the execution of the program is paused in the debugger, and we can inspect the state of the registers. By clicking the run button, you can see the changes in the register window, e.g. port C. Finally, we build a programming file for the real hardware. Click File, then select Save Hex. Save Hex file under the name PIC Counter. The Hex file can be used to configure the real hardware with an external programmer. Part 2. Our second example performs the same task, but we program the microcontroller in C language. Check on the Analysis, Enable MCU Code Debugger to enable debugger. Then click the Dig button. The MCU IDE window appears with the debug icons in the toolbar. Run, Stop, Step, Step over, toggle breakpoint. OK, now we step through the program line by line and see what it is doing. Click the Step button. The program initializes port CIO port direction and variable count. While in the endless loop, the program updates the IO port and increment variable count. OK, as we did in the previous example, 
we can set breakpoints, which are our particular locations of interest to inspect the state of our program. Click the workspace in the count plus plus line. Then click the toggle breakpoint button. After that, we allow the debugger to run the program. Click the run button. When the breakpoint is hit, we can click on the variable name count in the workspace to examine the current value, e.g. count equals 2. Or we can add it to the watch list. Click the watch list label, then click the Add Object button. In the Add Watch pop-up window, enter count, then click OK. And see the effect of the postfix increment.